Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you my keybinds and I'm on windowed full screen. Normally I'm not on windowed full screen. This is just so I can like flip between, you know, just alt tab real quick without having a black screen for a while. So I'll just jump right into it, I guess. All right. So I got this right here. This is their software, the software for the Azeron. This is where you put all your binds on the Azeron keypad, you know. So first of all, LED brightness, I got on one, you already know, don't want to look at that. The LEDs are actually really bright. Here's all my binds, it's pretty basic actually, I, you know, just profile on, memory on. Whenever you reset it though, you're going to want to, you're going to want to take a, a, a picture of this because when you reset your Azeron keypad, the binds all go away, they go back to their default, so you're gonna want to make sure you know all these binds so you can put them back in. Just keep that in mind, because if you don't remember, it's gonna just be really frustrating to figure it out. But anyways, I guess I'll, I'll just go straight to the joystick. I have it angled clockwise really slightly, because when you get it going forward, it's like tilted up a tiny bit, and I just... I just adjusted it so it just feels right to me, you know? You just do whatever you want for that. And then these are all my binds here. Just a whole bunch of stuff. A lot of it looks random and you kind of want to do that because then that way, like I, m I might even get rid of shift and control to be honest because that way you, you can't do any shortcuts to just do whatever. Just, you could just have it be anything you want and then you just have to change it in your game settings. So let me just see here because I like when you press the buttons on your keypad they they like get shaded as you can see here and then you can move your joystick around so it's really easy to tell. Alright so joystick you know move with my thumb. And then if there's a second joystick for WASD right above it, you don't want to use that because you don't get 360 movement, obviously. Obviously use the joystick. But so I have X. I actually don't even know what this is, to be honest with you. I don't think I've ever used the. I think I, yeah, I honestly don't know what this bind is even for for me. I might have to check that actually, but I got X there for something. I honestly have no clue what that is. But then I set all these to B, which is just like moving the WASD joystick so I said all of these to be this is for repairing so I don't really need to move for that so just repairing stuff you know pressing down on the joystick is for I think that's for picking someone up and then oh shoot where's tab tab there it is that's my inventory this is assuming you already have a, a keypad so I mean honestly I don't I don't need to show you any of this because you can just follow along by pressing the buttons. But this is my edit for V, it's on my index finger. All of these, these buttons are, these four are on my index finger. This is reload. This is dare. This is slot three for my weapons. One, two, three. This is my middle finger right here, these three. So this is my shotgun right here. So one, two, three. And then I use my middle finger and I reach up, four, five. So these two would be for like healing. And I actually use my grappler on this one. I got really used to pressing four and five. Like I got a lot better at pressing those than even these two, to be honest. This is my ring finger right here. This is my pickaxe, T. So if I push up with my fingers, you know, pickaxe, one, three, and then shotgun here. I, I put my shotgun here because personally I think it's a really easy button to press and I, I think switching to your shotgun, always having your shotgun out is really important so I just did that. And then Q right here. This is my floor. This is my floor. This is my cone which is on my ring finger and this is my traps here. Alright so moving on to my pinky finger. Alright pinky finger this side. So space, I have my my jump on my pinky finger. I know it sounds weird, but I mean, it takes a little bit of getting used to, but personally, I I really like having it on, on my pinky finger, honestly. And then crouching, this is my crouch. So I pull down, I got my crouch and my jump on the same finger. It works perfectly fine, honestly. On crouch, you can just double tap this too. You don't have to go like that. You can just double tap space, you know? 
pretty basic. This is my auto run. Feels kind of weird to press, but it I got used to it. So if I auto run and I go to my inventory, I can do a quick like, just like boom, boom, you know? You know what I mean? So I can switch my inventory without having to stop moving. Escape, it's just escape. I press this with my ring finger actually. It, like you never really need to press it like ever and if you're going to press it you're gonna stop moving like so pretty basic press I press this with my middle finger or my ring finger it's easier to press with my middle finger I just this is for just switching seeds in like a boat so I hardly ever use that really this is my emote button but I actually unbound my emotes so right now this doesn't even do anything I accidentally did an emote in a match once and then I died because of it so I just unbound it right away I don't use that anymore this is my middle finger by the way these are the two top buttons that you'll see in like the picture of my thumbnails or whatever that are like really far away from your fingers so obviously use these for like stuff you're not going to use often but this is my map which is on my pointer finger so this one you do kind of use often but it's it's easy to press trust me like they look hard to press but after a little bit of using the keypad like every button's pretty easy to press except for like this one and this one in my opinion these are the only two. Oh shoot see this is why you gotta you don't want to have like random you know what i mean can make it anything on your keyboard so i should probably change that eventually i probably won't change it ever because it, i'm too lazy to do that but yeah that's my binds so if i if i go in here you know go to my settings boom i got settings you can just look through this i'll stop it areas so it doesn't get like any motion blur or something so you can just look through i don't think oh yeah motorboat so you can just compare the two because honestly I don't, I don't even know where like half the stuff is on here but yeah I just got other settings. You probably don't really care much about this. Maybe you care about my sense. I change my sense all the time though, so don't trust this. Oh, by the way, when you set up the keypad, you want to make sure that this is on and this is off. All right, make sure this is off, this is on. Otherwise you're gonna have a lot of issues and it's gonna be like glitching out and all sorts of crap. So pretty basic to set up, just do this. Pretty easy. <coughs> all right. So, yeah, my ping is not the greatest, as you can see. Anyways, all right, yeah, I'm in windowed full screen. This is my res, by the way, 1798 by 1080. You can change that in your NVIDIA control panel, or I don't know how it works with Radeon. All right, so these binds are really good, but, uh, like, you can do anything with these binds. The only thing I would maybe have changed is my stair bind because my stair bind is on the same button as my editing but i haven't had any issues with editing a ramp right after placing a ramp i can do it perfectly fine honestly i think i'm getting a few frame drops right now but that's fine oh uh, yeah you, you probably want to know the binds on my mouse then too so let me see let me see let me see all right in case you didn't know i have a g wolves SKL edition here. This is my mouse. It's not black though. It's white because I got the white version So you probably want to look at my binds here too. That'd be helpful. I use double edit binds So my edit bind on the keypad was V which was on my pointer finger pulling down and I got that on the bottom side button And then this is my wall So I got the walls on the front side button on my mouse left clicks just left click placing markers and stuff is pressing down on my scroll wheel and then scrolling back, so pulling my scroll wheel back is my scroll wheel reset. And then scrolling forward, pushing forward is for picking up items. So that's pretty much all you need to know for the mouse, get rid of that. So I mean, if I just demonstrate, I like building with stuff in my inventory, it just feels more natural to me. So I'm recording, so I'm, I, I might be a tiny bit off, I don't know, but like you can do all the basic stuff you know you can do like this thing that sway does you know when you edit when you edit this and then you jump out all right it's, it's hard to do slow when because of all places but you can do this you know you can do all sorts of stuff i'm kind of off right now but you know you can do 
all, all this stuff. It's not, it's super easy with my vines to do all of this stuff. So yeah, it's really easy. No problems with editing ramps or anything, as you can see. No problems with editing ramps after placing a ramp. It's really easy. Even with having that defined on the same finger as your ramp, it's super easy. But I mean, the hardest thing for me with building probably with these vines is when you place a cone and then you edit it and then you jump out and then you like do this. I mean that part's easy. You can also just do a ramp too if you don't want to edit the cone. You can just go like that. Let me get the cone in front here. Just like that. So yeah, as you can see, you can still do it. I haven't done that retake in a really long time though. So that one's kind of tricky. It, it literally just all takes practice. You can do anything with these binds if you if you just get used to them. They're really easy. They're really comfortable too, in my opinion. But I should probably get into why I chose what bind for what. So I mean, I changed my binds a lot when I was trying to figure out my binds and I, I stuck with these. So like, obviously you want to have all your build binds pressing down. And personally, I think it's the best on your first three fingers because it's really like you have so much control over your first three fingers uh, compared to like your pinky finger you know like you you can like honestly just rotate your wrist to press space like you don't even need to press down with your pinky finger to press that so i have all my builds on these fingers okay right here boom 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 it's really easy i put my shotgun here because it's really easy to pull down here but i wanted my edit button to be here because obviously your index finger is probably going to be your fastest finger for editing and then I put my traps here because you don't use it very often. So, I mean, this one's slightly harder to press compared to like this, 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 but it's still really easy to press in my opinion. And some of these might be harder to press for different people. So if you don't like these, don't be afraid to try something else. This is just what I use personally. Oh yeah, for this button, this button here, this is the button that goes off to the side of your, oh, what's going on? Whoa. This is the button that, oh, I guess it is tab, so it's gonna switch that. So I have it like in front of the joystick and a little bit to the side, like 45 degrees to the side, and I find it really easy to press. So I just go like, boom, like that, like that. So that's how you auto run and go to your inventory. You just go like this. And you, can, you can tell what I'm doing with my binds. It's really easy to do. And then, so I put this as my reload. This is also for switching my material actually and then i changed my right click to rotating because i think i think rotating ramps is really good in box fights and i i don't think i really have any clips with doing that but sometimes i'll rotate a ramp once and then if someone does a, a top like peanut butter edit you know then you place a ramp and there you can be phasing forward place a ramp in there and then it'll just completely cover them but aside from that pickaxe it feels kind of weird switching to pickaxe when I switch between like slots. If I just feel like yeah, I go like this, just push up, just push up a little bit. It's really easy to press. Um, they're all pretty easy to press. This is easy to press. This is easy to press. You know, these are just easy to press in general. So I just use these, these four for my, my weapon slots as well as these. So this is all my weapon slots. Right. I use these for fixing my builds, repairing, because you don't really repair that often. And when you do, well, you're not gonna really be just like spazzing out, repairing a ton of stuff. So, you know, just like, you could just like spam it, you know, just like uh, repair, 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 if you really want to. <clears throat> Set this to my map, cause it's, it's pretty much like, you end up like getting kind of limited on options after you like use, use all your like, your ring finger, middle finger, and pointer finger for all of this, you, you start to run out of options. So I just kind of put it here, you know? It was up to here or here, but I think that this one's easier to press than this one, so that's why I put my map here. And then I put space here because, I mean, like, obviously, giving all my builds, weapons, slots, all that has to be on these fingers. You really want it on these fingers. It'll help you out in the long run. So space, I just figured I'd get used to doing it here and I did get used to it. I know it sounds really weird, but I mean like, if you crouch constantly with your pinky finger on a keyboard, like it should be easy to jump with your pinky finger too, right? And it is, trust me, it is after you get used to it. 
I mean, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope I explained everything well enough for everyone. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments. I'll try to respond to every single person. I've been trying to respond to everybody as much as I can. It's a lot, a lot of fun for me right now. So I hope you enjoyed, guys. I hope you came up with some ideas for your binds. And I'm out. Peace.